We are live with Trinity University, Texas, head women's volleyball coach Julie Jenkins and student athletes Avery Tuggle and Sarah Willamy, if I said that correctly, following Trinity, Texas's sweep of Cedar Crest College in the opening round of the 2021 Division III Women's Volleyball Championship. Coach, an opening statement, please. Yeah, I think this was a, a great opening win for our team. I think our players came out with the right focus, the right mentality, um, and really were aggressive right from point one. Um, and I'm pleased. I'm pleased with their, their focus. I'm, I'm pleased with you know trying to elevate our play from the beginning to the end. So it was overall uh, a nice start to the tournament and a great level of focus out of our players. Coach, what started the match for you so strong? Like, how were you able to assert your presence on the court right from the opening point? Yeah, um, I think our setters really do an outstanding job, Marissa and Lexi, of um, getting our players in one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they did that really well today. We had a lot of, of attacks where we only had a single block, and um, you know that that's a tribute to them. You know, I think they. Uh, are helping us, you know, run a very fast-paced offense, and we can't do it without them. So we're really pleased with, with the start that they are, they're showing as well. This might be a little bit of a strange question, Coach, but almost Cedar, for Cedar Crest, they had nothing to lose here. First time they were in the tournament. Is that a difficult opponent to prepare for? You know, I, I said to their coach before the match that this is a real special deal. You know, for them to qualify for the very first time, I think it's an outstanding accomplishment, exciting for their university. I think more so it was it was more difficult uh, playing an opponent, A, that you haven't seen play in person, but B, that this runs a different style offense and adjusting to that. Uh, they've, they have some nice athletes on the other side of the net, and um, I think our team adjusted well as the match went on. Thanks, Coach. Avery? A match high 10 kills on 16 swings. That's a very good number to have, a 500 attack percentage. What was working for you tonight? And was it something you were doing specifically or was it just that your setter, as Coach had mentioned, kept putting you in the right spot? Yeah, well, um, I would say all season long, our setters have done a great job at um, giving us uh, you know, a good percentage. They distribute the ball really well. It's, we run a really balanced offense, so it makes it difficult for opponents to defend and tonight they just did a really great job as coach said at giving us one-on-one -on -one matchups so it made it pretty easy to um, be successful. Sarah one block solo for the team but 20 block assists meaning there were a lot of folks at the net causing havoc for Cedar Crest on their when they're trying to run their offense. Is being a strong net presence something the team prides itself on? Yeah definitely. Um, I think that we definitely consider it one of our strengths and something that um, we're proud of, for sure. Coach, same question. How important for you to, to do the things that you want to do in a match is it to have that net presence? Oh, it's tremendous. You know, I, and they do really, they, they do take a lot of pride in it. We spend a lot of time on our blocking, you know, and in 2019, the last time we were able to come to this NCAA tournament, you know, it was definitely one of our strengths. And, and it's, it's a strength again this year. Um, but, you know, our middles, for example, Emma, Emma Funk and, and Emily Ellis, but all four of our middles, Maddie and, and Brett, they do such a great job of getting out to the pins and closing. They've got such, such great discipline. And then, you know, Willie and, and Avery, you know, are, all of our pins do, do a nice job of, of uh, getting us across at the right time and setting it up and doing a good job of, of uh, taking away their angles. And, you know, it just makes us that much tougher to play when our block can take away a lot of court. And it's not just about the blocks. Yes, you know, we had good results today with 11 blocks, but just all the shots that we're altering and uh, yeah, it's a big, big part of our game. And uh, we, we spend a lot of time on it for sure. Avery, as a student athlete, nine different, nine different Tigers had at least one kill. How good is it to see so many different teammates getting involved and, and finding ways to contribute uh, offensively? Oh, it's, 
It's so great. Um, we talk about our depth on the team a lot, and it's like no other. Um, it's great to know that you could put, you know, anybody on the team, like one through 18 out there, and they can be successful. And I think that's a huge tribute to our team chemistry. I think we have a really great team. We have had a really great team in 2019 and again this year. So we're just feeling really lucky to have that depth. Sarah, final question. It's a fun one, not too pressing. Something we've heard <laughs> on and off all day today from the different teams is they've really enjoyed the different food options they've had here in town. <laughs> we've heard sushi, we've heard pizza, we've heard Outback Steakhouse, which was kind of a random one. Um, any good stories from Trinity's time here in Hoboken? I'm guessing you all don't get a chance to come up to the New Jersey area a ton. So any good stories from the first couple of days here? Um, yesterday night we ended up getting some pizza, which was definitely good to have. I was really excited to have that. Um, I'm not sure the place that we went to, but I think a lot of people ended up ordering um, individual pizzas. They thought they were gonna get like a, a tiny little pizza and they showed up to the table and all of them were like so this big, big for each person. So we definitely ended up eating a lot. It was Giovanni's. Yes. Giovanni's. I th but I thought, oh, good. I thought everything was big in Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. Doesn't. Uh, <laughs> we were excited to see it. <laughs> good. And, and coach, I apologize for coming back to you one more time. Just That's okay. a quick turnaround to tomorrow. How does the team kind of recover from tonight with, you know, tomorrow's match less than 24 hours from Yeah. Now? I mean, they're used to doing this. You know, we're used to playing three and four matches in a weekend and typically very, very strong opponents. And we're excited to see Middlebury and Stevens play in this next match. And we'll try to sit out there and come up with our game plan and then get in a good practice in the morning and they'll be ready to roll. Um, yeah, it's, you know, each round gets, gets so exciting. So we're looking forward to another great day tomorrow. Well, congratulations, Trinity University, Texas, on a fantastic opening match. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much.